हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल मेटा हैज लॉन्च्ड इज लेटेस्ट अपडेट टू लामा व्हिच इज देयर लार्ज लैंग्वेज मॉडल व्हिच इज अवेलेबल फॉर ओपन सोर्स फॉर फ्री इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंपेयर द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ दीस टू अंडर six tests where one report will be about summarization another test will be about personal communication where we will ask it to draft an email and there is more of a logical thinking type of a task then data interpretation i have covered all the scenarios which would be helpful in your daily office scenarios because the, you might run this on your computer locally and get all the answers so le before that let's take a look at how this latest model is created and any other details about it so 3.2 models they have uh, there's not just one model there are multiple models in this series where one is 11 billion parameter the more the parameter the heavier and more complex it is and more advanced it is but the bigger the parameter it won't be able to run on your local computer you might require advanced gpus for that uh, another thing is they have increased the context length which is 128k token which context length is nothing but how much text it can process at one go uh, so that is at par with gpt4 now so first ed, test would be to summarize sales report and highlighting key trends in this one so in this setup i am running this model locally without the internet with the help of pinocchio dot computer app uh, i have already i link the tutorial on how to do that in the description below i have opened two versions of it on the left hand side is llama 3.1 and on the right hand side is the 3.2 so i'll put the same prompt on both of or both the sides and start with it has only identified three options and the um, but the 3.2 version hi has highlighted on the third one also where it saw the decline in market share in europe and all so suggest it should review uh, regional sales so i think in terms of one more detail uh, 3.2 has captured better here next we will check out professional communication like what if there's a email that you want to decline but you want to continue the relationship so in this prompt i have added that draft and a sample email also so let's see how it performs so i think 3.1 has not given that much good performance because it has right away given okay we have went with another we have gone with another vendor however 3.2 has given one background and then in the third paragraph it has denied so i think this again test goes to 3.2 in this next test we are going to take customer feedback and analyze it basically how good is it with at strategy thinking so let's take a look at it in terms of first problem which is overall satisfaction and response time rating the 3.1 model has given like okay how much how many times you have call, you are calling the queue management and third one is ai powered which is like the solution 3.2 has given four options where first one again is similar to second point of the previous response which is queue management you have to put second option by the model 3.2 is increase the number of agents available in peak hours whereas the 3.1 just tells analyze call patterns and optimize staffing schedule which is good but it is more jargon in this one it's easier to understand customers choose how they want to communicate i think third one is not uh, mentioned in the 3.1 uh, response I think Rama 3.2 explains it in a simpler manner and that too in a more elaborate way so like few points are extra and I'll pause it here you can check it out and see yourself Next one is based on resource allocation this would give you like strategic making and new numerical reasoning uh, capabilities so I'll paste so in terms of budget allocation for this prompt where I had given social media their roi email marketing their roi and everything they have allocated budget of 150000 30% of the budget whereas 3.1 has allocated 120000 24% of the budget which is might be similar the, um, so i think 3.1 is thinking that okay it should give more to the social media because it has more reach uh, 3.1 has still allocated 30000 6% of the budget but uh, 3.2 has removed from print and put it in the email marketing i think that is a logical step because it's declining based on the data so i think 3.1 has thought deeper and is it is more optimizing this one uh, additional recommendation 3.1 suggests that social media target millennials and all uh, new email target target millennials focusing on increasing brand awareness content obviously considers re removing the print and allocating 280000 to 26000 of the uh, total budget to influencer uh, marketing here it has just given developed content like a generic su suggestion 
daily so i think 3.2 has given more actionable uh, feedback and the total like again it has restated 3.1 model has just restated whereas the 3.2 model uh, again goes on to say like how to increase the brand awareness and how do i acquire 10000 new customer so again i think uh, 3.2's response is more better it has even just re removed uh, print which because it was not performing i think 3.2 performs better if you are writing anything if you are doing anything logical which is more uh, likely in, in case of office scenarios where you are either summarizing you have jot down few notes and you want to explain it to someone so if you are working with existing data it it really it's a game changer although 3.2 model has less parameters which means it's faster it's lighter on your computer it still gives better uh, responses so so that's it for this video share this with someone who you want to see run a local model and be more productive at work and uh, please subscribe to this channel i'll see you in the next one